so happy right now that we're able to bond with baby in my belly. Kayaking through the rock formations. Okay, we made it to the Twin Lagoon. Guys, look at this. It's just us here. We are heading now to the Green Lagoon. This is what I remember Koran to be. Yeah. Just peaceful, tranquil, nature sounds, just the ocean, the beautiful peace. It's nature's music. That boat's kind of ruining it. I'm going to eat it. I'm going to eat it. I'm going to eat it. We have arrived at the first location, kind of a snorkeling spot. We have to wear life jackets here apparently, even though the locals aren't, but we have to. So guys, we have just arrived in Kayagan Lake. It's absolutely gorgeous here. Um, I do remember coming here. It was like a few years back, but I do remember this spot and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's so picturesque and it's definitely one of my most favorite places in the whole world to visit. Yes. Gorgeous. Wait, I think I'm Snails got oh snails. Ooh, okay, Kim's going in. This is so cool. So guys, look at the view here. Oh, yeah. I remember coming to it and thinking like it's beautiful on the way in and it's like a cool, cool to visit but it's really just a lake. There's no fish in this one. The other ones have better fish and snorkeling spots. But I think each one has its own Each one's got some cool thing. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I don't this think it's gorgeous. This one's more beautiful to look around, I think. So beautiful here, guys. I feel like I'm in the middle of a picture right now. I think it's one of my most favourite natural scenery to visit. And to be in between all of these rock formations is unreal. Like, it's absolutely stunning. And to be able to experience this again is like the best ever yeah it's it's so so lovely like i'm already thinking about how amazing it would be to bring the kids here when they're a bit older onyx loves to swim so this would be such a great experience for them to visit so yeah it's really really good but right now i'm just bonding with baby boy in my belly can you guys believe like well i'm halfway through the pregnancy already which is crazy but yeah like being here to be able to just be really relaxed really chill it's so amazing and to just take a moment to take in this third pregnancy guys some of you guys have been here from the very beginning and now we're on third baby which is so crazy i've literally been pregnant like back to back but yeah to be able to be here this time to have three children guys when we first came here tom and i wasn't even engaged it was like the beginning of our relationship we're now back here totally different chapter of our life and it's always going to be magical coming here but to also celebrate like these different moments in our life is the most amazing thing and i am just feeling so happy right now that we're able to bond with baby in my belly i know that sounds crazy but i think i've just been so busy that i've not really taken it all in just to take a moment to really just focus on the pregnancy i've just been on my feet constantly but this whole time i've really been it's been sinking in a lot more that soon we are going to have three children and you know this is where they're going to grow up the more that we've been around around this beautiful paradise is making me want the kids to be nearer and closer to this so now i think every time we go to these kind of holidays i always say this but i really now want to maybe travel to other islands and to definitely find an island spot what would be a super dream actually 50 feet down and you can still see the floor this is the clearest lake I've ever been in. Wow. 
And can you feel like, I reckon if we didn't have the life jackets on, I wonder if we'd be able to float more because it's fresh and salt water? Yeah, maybe. Is that like a perk here? So this apparently so clear cool. water's heavier, right? But salt water, do you, could you float more in salt water? Maybe. We've just finished at stop one. Look at this, already we've been here probably 30 minutes. It is full of people. There must be like 70, 80 people here now. Look at this. It's full of people now. Compared to yesterday's island tour when we went to Black Island, there was probably, we didn't see more than 15 people the whole day and already stop one. This one is busy. It shows it's so popular to come here. So you guys, we're gonna head back up to the boat. Guys, we've just finished our first tour and oh my god, let me show you, it is so busy here now. Like boats are stacking up behind each other. Look, there's people over there who are having to like park up, climb through other people's boats just to get there. Yeah, there must be like 50 boats here now, full of people. We were quite early actually. So I will say if you are coming to this one, try and get here as early as possible. Look, we've had to like ask these guys to move out the way so we can get out. So funny. Look guys, they're like boat hopping across the boats to get, get to the side to then take the boardwalk all the way down there. Look how many boats there are. So many now. These guys are actually so skilled at driving the boat, it's ridiculous. But they do this every single day, don't they? But to me, it's like, I couldn't drive a car in that gap, never mind a big wide boat. <laughs> And we're free. Good job, Kuya. Kuya, for Punten Kuksan. Banol. Banol Beach. And now we're heading to Banol Beach. Let's go. Falling. All right, guys, we're currently here kayaking through the rock formations in the middle of the beautiful crystal clear sea. Guys, look, you can really see to the bottom. You can see the fishes. My husband is driving, my personal captain. I'm so lucky. Here I am, just chilling. Only joking. Well, I'm vlogging, so I'm taking a break. But all right we made it kind of <laughs> i have not stopped laughing oh my god my stick got stuck oh look at that back so cute. Okay. Wow, all that gym sesh paying off. Got that Palau and bod. <laughs> oh my. You could have got out a bit more sexier than that. No. We need to work. Oh my. Oh, Tom. No, you are not my sorry. Lady. Okay, here. Oh, that was so funny. And there's the man. Here's his head, his nose. Mouth, his chin, and his body. It's the sleeping giant. <laughs> How is it? It's really warm. Is it? Yeah. What? Oh. And there's one there. Okay, there's jellyfish. I'm going. Oh, there's jellyfish. Oh, God. Oh, God. I hate jellyfish. Oh, I wish I had my snorkel now, so I could see the jellyfish. Go away, jellyfish. Please don't sting me. We are in the lagoon. In the twin lagoon. Okay, let's go. Get away from these jellyfish. There are little... Look, there's one right there. Like, right there. Look, look, look. Right there. Where? Yeah, this tiny one right there. Is that jellyfish? Yeah. Oh, there's more. 
Right, okay, what about that one? It's not working. God, oh my god, I'm not going down there. Oh, that's it, that's it, that's me. Push me! I can't help you. <laughs> We're just trying to avoid the jellyfish guys. There are these small jellyfish here, they're like small black things. So here is the way, way where you go through. You can either go over or under. They went under with it. The kayak? Yeah. Oh, we're going under. So apparently guys, when it's low tide, you can go under. He said just don't touch the rock. Or when it's high tide, you just walk over. Let's go, you go through. <laughs> Okay, we made it to the Twin Lagoon. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah, right? Guys, look at this. Mind this jellyfish here. Is it really? No. <laughs> Guys, I don't like jellyfish. I don't think anyone likes jellyfish, really, do they? It's not like on someone's favourite pet list. <laughs> Guys, there's jellyfish everywhere. Yeah, I know. we saw it. I, I thought you said that. He's just thinking with his head, like throwing down. <laughs> <laughs> Can we stay with you? Apparently, uh, they don't hurt, but I'm not yeah, a fan no, of jellyfish. Yeah, but he was like just next to me. I was like, ah! <laughs> what are you saying? I was saying, I wonder why they're screaming. Because I don't yeah, want to go there. We don't want to go over there now. <laughs> <laughs> but they yeah. sting. No, not so sting. <laughs> not so sting. So when you mean not so sting, when you hold it, does it hurt? Yeah, it's a turn. Oh yeah, it's not me. <laughs> I will cry. <laughs> I will cry. <laughs> I want to get in my kayak now. Yeah, like. we'll get in the kayak. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. We'll stay with him, he throws them. <laughs> yeah. oh, there is one here. Yeah, there is one here. I went, we I went past, past it. it. Don't worry, we're safe with this koya. Yeah, yeah, that's why, guys, we, we oh, realised there's too many jellyfish, so we're heading back towards the boat. Luckily, we found a group who also hate jellyfish as much as we do. So we're following but, them. But, but they are, he's got it. Oh my. Gosh, <laughs> I'm staying with this guy. This guy keeps picking them up and throwing them. No more here. No, it's not. I said it was over there. Cool, yeah. Yeah, it was there in the corner. I know. I rather swim with a small shark. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're going back through here. I think we're going to grab the kayaks because although we're told that the jellyfish don't really like, they're not harmful and they don't sting. I think I would prefer to not be around them. I think I'd prefer to just be in a kayak right now. So, just gonna swim through here. Our friends have found a jellyfish. Oh, no, 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 no. Where is it? No, oh, it's running away! It's coming to me! Oh, it's going to you! It's going to you! <laughs> <laughs> I'm really scared of it. <laughs> very, Look, very, very, very safe. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, I, I feel like oh, that's all about it. He screamed in all of our face. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's a kid right there. Nice to meet you guys, enjoy your travels. Bye. Okay, well, I kind of touched a jellyfish, kind of. No, I did, actually. Yeah, you overcame your fear. Yeah. I may have freaked out a little bit then. It felt like jelly. Wow, look at that. So guys, as you can see, it's just us here. We are heading now to the Green Lagoon. Apparently, it's highly recommended and I can see why. It's absolutely gorgeous. I've said that a hundred times, but truly, I'm just gonna show you, guys, look at this. How amazing. I feel like I'm going into the unknown, like Jurassic World or something. Yeah, me too, right? Whoa, look at this, it's super shallow as well. We couldn't drive the boat in here. But look, I'm gonna almost touch the bottom. Oh yeah, it is it's so shallow. so shallow, look at this. Guys, I'm gonna show you. Wow, guys, look at that. 
Marco. It really is green, isn't it? Look at that. Oh, you've got a halo. Wow, you've literally got a halo. Oh my. What's amazing is this was not on our plan to come to today. Actually, I'd not heard of this one. Kim, you may have read about it. I'd not heard of this place. And arguably, it's probably the best one we've been to so far today. I mean that in like a sincere way. Everyone we've been to so far has been great. This has just got something to it. You're surrounded by these giant, huge, almost like arching walls, like completely like steep, very steep walls all around you, these rock formations. And then the lagoon kind of goes super shallow here. And then you get into this blue lagoon and then there's a little patch at the back where we stopped and spun around where it's really shallow again. I bet I could jump out here and just stand up. Look, it's so shallow. That's probably like three or three feet deep. I, you know why I love this so much? It's like, um, I love it more than Twin Lagoon because it's so terrific, Twin Lagoon. But what makes that so beautiful is being between all this rock formation, but you also get that here. And I've just noticed something in the sea. It looks like a love heart. Oh, Look at that. wow. It looks like a love heart. What is it? I don't know. It's like an onyx. You know the Pokemon? Yeah. It looks like the Pokemon onyx. <laughs> Look at that! So that is the lagoon right there. Look how long my arm look. <laughs> you wanna get out? I just wanna stare at it. Yeah, me too. And there's our boat, guys. The boat, like, you can't even see it. It's so far away. The boat's like, uh, there. But it had to stop there because it can't get any closer. I imagine if you didn't get the kayak, you could still come here and just swim. And yeah, it'd be definitely. beautiful. It'd be great, actually. Because, and you don't need your life jacket here. There's a few areas where you have to have a life jacket, but here you don't need that. And I think it's got something to do with how much salt and fresh water is in the water. Also, it's very shallow. Yeah, also here is very shallow. You can shallow. actually stand up, and I think it'll be up to our knees. Yeah, this is not deep at all, is it? Look at all the coral. The coral's so beautiful. Look how clear that is. I've not even put the camera in the water. That's how clear it is. I highly recommend, if you're watching this video because you're considering coming to Caron and doing one of these tours, I highly recommend that you add Green Lagoon to the list because there's no one here. And that, like, don't get me wrong, we like going to touristic places. You meet, like, the coolest people out here. But I also like sometimes just having the moment where it's just me and Kim. And you can just enjoy the place to yourself and nature. And this is definitely one of those places. Oh, this is so relaxing. This is what I remember Koran to be. Yeah. Just peaceful, tranquil, nature sounds, just the ocean, the beautiful peace is what it feels like. Because last time we came, I don't think it was as touristic as well. Like it was more quiet. There was moments of quietness. Although this is a lot more quieter because we're not on a group tour this time. I can stay here in this location forever. I think yeah. my soul really needed this. Yeah, same. This is what my soul absolutely needed. It's just that zen, that clearance of energy that's all stuck up in my body, just to kind of release that and leave that, like get it, get it out, throw it away. I just breathe in all of that goodness. Yeah, know? look at, just look at what's around us, guys. Cocoa it's nature's museum. That boat's kind of ruining it. I got me in a bohemicola, so the lit now. Film company. You know, if we had a recording device, yeah. I think it'll be super cool to record this. Yeah. This noise. Just listen to it every night when I go to And even just that noise, like the paddle noises. This is probably the most beautiful spot in the whole of the Philippines. Yeah. Just let go, lose control 
play songs on the radio too loud This could be magical Guys, we're just gonna have a little tour of Karan. We typical Kim style. She doesn't want to leave here without getting some souvenirs. Salamat po. We're gonna have a look around the local shops and see if we can grab something. It was just that. Whoa! Look at this place. Wow. They sell these cool little crocodile things that Onyx might love. How do you play with it? He loves crocodiles. That's He'll true. That's true. Onyx does love crocodiles. 165 pesos. Look, you can roll oh, this car on your back. What about like a little ukulele? Um, why doesn't he roll it up your back? Because it's a massager, look. Oh, that's kind of nice. What about we get him a bag that's made of a real frog? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Is that real? Oh, Kim, Kim, Kim. Kim, there's actual crocodile toys. That's squeak. <laughs> look at this guy. I think Onyx looks like a crocodile. Onyx loves crocodiles, guys. He would love that for the shower, the bath. I'm gonna get him it. He'll look. I think I might get this one. Yeah, let's get this one. Okay. Cool. I'm getting him the crocodile for the bath. He'll love that, trust me. That's Onyx's. Oh, that's cute actually. He'll love that. That's really thoughtful. Our yeah. son loves crocodiles. He always says, he always crocodiles, says, crocodiles. There's a crocodile in the bath. That's <laughs> now there is. <laughs> we should like put it in and then when he says it, we could be like, there really yeah. is a crocodile in the bath. This is a cool souvenir shop, guys. If you're ever in Caron, we'll leave details. We just typed in Caron souvenirs, to be honest, on Google. Oh, it's called Caron souvenirs. But they have loads of cool stuff. Look, they have planes, they have motorbikes, there's an ate over there painting. They even got, wow, look at all the lights. These bowls are cute. Oh, look, bills, letters, very native. Oh, yeah, lots of cool native stuff. If you want something authentic. Honey on. Oh, we could start a band. We can start a band. Yeah. What instrument would you play? The Onyx can play the crocodile. What are you playing? The drum. Okay. Sorry. I'll play the frog. The frog? <laughs> yeah. Look at that tissue box. That's a cool tissue box, actually, isn't it? That's cool. Nice tissue box. Oh, look at that. Chest. Oh, wait. Hold this. Let me see the chessboard. Oh, that's like a proper wooden chessboard. For so cheap as well. 265 pesos. Oh, just this. Tonka, that's so Tonka, cool. yeah. I used to play that game, didn't you? Wow, that's really cool. Oh. It's just that it's got little pieces. <laughs> Don't tell me you banged your head again. Of course I did. Oh, look, they do bunny. Oh, head. teddy bears for Araya. We can get her a turtle. We've just seen a turtle. Oh, they do crocodiles. What's with the crocodiles? What do they have them? Your mum would love that bag. No, be the green one. <laughs> yeah, she'd love that bag. This is a cool shop. Look, teddy bears. All these cool bags. Jewelry. And that is the end of our Caron Island tour. I think the highlight for me was the Green Lagoon. Definitely. Yeah, your favourite? Green Lagoon, 100%. Oh, I and then the seeing thing... the turtle at the end. Yeah, seeing the turtle. I think each place had its perfect element. Like, for example, the beach when we first went there and it was, you know, there was no one there to begin with and it was so, like, you know, empty. Picturesque. Picturesque, yeah. But I enjoyed most of it, but my most favourite was definitely the Green Lagoon. Yeah. But again, because no one was there. Yeah, true, So I think true. it just really depends on like when you go, the time that you go. Because I'm assuming people might have gone like a lot earlier. It just depends. Um, but yeah, I really had such a great time and it was so good to be back. But yeah, we're heading back now. It's about an hour drive back to Maswanga. Yes. Uh, so yeah, we're going to head back. And then I think I'm really excited for dinner. Me too, I'm kind of hungry I'm already. I'm really hungry. I like what we had yesterday, my order that again, but... Yeah, we ate yeah. kind of early as well. Yeah, so I am really excited yeah. to eat. Guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Or, if you want, just hit the like button. It really does help us on the channel. It helps YouTube know that you like this video. It helps everyone else know that it's a good video. And it will promote it to more people. So, you really will do us a favour if you hit the like button. Or, even better, comment. Um, but, yeah, thank you so much for watching today's video. Hope and, you enjoyed. it will also help the Koyas here make, you know, everyone that we use by just promoting it and everything. Or, like, subscribing. It will really boost the video and just help all the tour guys that we've used today. Also, like the advice that we shared. So, thank you so much once again for watching. Yeah, remember, guys, as my beautiful wife to the left of me always say, In a world where you can be anything, remember to always be kind. Kind. I really hope you enjoyed watching, guys. We love you and see you in the next See you soon, guys.
guys. Bye.